Hey everyone, I'm the Abysmal Kraken and welcome to my tutorial on duplicating old amulets in Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can avoid picking up some old amulets by duplicating others. There are only three amulets that can be duped, and you only get one chance at each. At the end of the video, I'll also go over the best way to practice the amulet dupes. There are a couple of things to note before we start. Firstly, you can only have up to a maximum of eight old amulets in your inventory so there isn't any point in duplicating amulets if you plan on collecting them from all locations anyway. We mainly try and duplicate the old amulets when speedrunning, as it saves us time by not having to go and collect the others. Finally, it's a very difficult trick with precise timing, so it will most likely take you a few attempts to get it, and even then, you won't get it every time. We don't have a consistent way of getting the dupe, so if you find one, please let me know as it would be incredibly helpful. Let's begin with how the trick works. To collect an old amulet, you have two ways to pick it up. The first is to simply run into it, and the second is to stand close to it and press the take button. Pressing the take button will play an animation to pick it up, as opposed to running into it, which doesn't. This will be an important difference later. By doing these two actions at exactly the same time, the prince will pick up two amulets instead of one. One of these amulets will be from running into it, and the other from pressing take. Now let's get on to some examples. As I said, there are only three amulets which can be duped, and they're all hidden behind eagle statues. The first is in the prince's bedroom, and this is what it looks like when you duplicate that amulet. Bear in mind that before picking this up, we hadn't collected any other amulets, and after duplicating, we now have two. The second dupable amulet is behind the left eagle statue in the throne room, and the third is in Set's secret area. Only these amulets can be duplicated because the others can't be run into and taken at the same time. There are different ways of preparing for an amulet dupe. The one I prefer is to have the camera angled in such a way that you can see the amulet to your right and are standing about this far from the amulet. There is some acceleration when you start running until you get to full speed, which makes it more difficult to judge when you'll collide with the amulet. So by ensuring you're at full speed, it makes it easier to do the dupe successfully. Other people prefer slowly edging towards the amulets rather than running, so I recommend trying different methods and see which you prefer. When you fail a dupe, it can be useful to know whether you press take too early or too late. This is where the animation difference I mentioned earlier comes in handy. If you press take too early, the animation will play, but you won't get an extra amulet. If you press take too late, the animation won't play, and the prince will continue running, only picking up a single amulet. You can also use dev mode to enable some hitboxes, which makes it easier to judge when you'll collide with the amulet. If you don't know how to enable dev mode, I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial I made on both enabling and using dev mode. By opening the watcher menu, clicking on collisions and ticking both boxes, you'll be able to see the prince's hitbox. Unfortunately, I haven't found a way to enable item hitboxes. However, by going to display, triggers, and checking the markers box, you can see roughly where the amulet hitbox begins. This makes it much easier to guess the correct time to press the take button. The best way to practice amulet duping is again to use dev mode. Teleporting to the Luxor Palace level will reset the level, meaning the amulets you've picked up will reappear. This allows you to practice the amulet dupe in the bedroom very easily. Just be aware that resetting the level doesn't change your inventory items and you can have a maximum of eight amulets. So I would suggest using remove all mummy inventory items to stop yourself reaching this limit. To reach the other two dupable amulets, use the cutscene menu. The Arkenhearten presentation cutscene will get you close to the throne room for the second amulet and the test cutscene will put you in Set's room right next to the third amulet. To practice these last two, you'll have to reload the level and then activate the cutscene for each attempt you do. One last reminder, dev mode is banned when doing speedruns, so make sure you disable it before doing a proper run. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful for you. Please leave a comment to let me know when you've done your first amulet dupe, and consider giving the video a like and subscribing to my channel for more Sphinx in the Cursed Mummy videos. I'm the Abysmal Kraken, thanks for watching.